Shalom, 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 shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Around your fellow servant Malachi. All right, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, just basically going into a, a lesson uh, dealing with um, uh, basically, basically based off the conversation me and a uh, brother had, uh, you know, last night. And, uh, you know, a key point uh, he was going into was that, uh, you know, brothers have to, um, you know, listen to the spirit. OK, see what the spirit is telling you. OK, because a lot of things that happen in our lives uh, these things happen uh, unto us, all right, because uh, we didn't take heed unto the spirit. Okay, I am speaking even speaking unto myself. You know, I have even uh, uh, fallen because I hasn't because I haven't uh, uh, taken well unto uh, listening and hearing what the spirit was saying. All right, because how can you be able to walk in the spirit if you're not uh, adhering? All right, to what the spirit is telling you. All right, but. You know, overall, all right, the hopefully elect, all right, they they are going to um, listen, okay? They're going to eventually get over the flesh. They're going to get over the things and the cares of this life, and they are going to um, take heed unto the spirit, okay? And that's going to be what? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, guiding them, all right, into the light, guiding them uh, away from the darkness, away from the evils, Okay? So uh, let's just go ahead and start to jump into it. Uh, this is the book of St. John, chapter 10, verse 27. It says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Okay? Because it doesn't matter what uh, ever situations the elect goes through. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai knows them. Okay? And what? They know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And this is why they're following after them. Okay? As you see, the elect, they go through their different trials and different tribulations, okay? They still end up following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because they hear the voice, okay, of the shepherd, okay? Let's go ahead and jump to the next verse. <clears throat> this is the book of John, it's a lot. This is the book of Job, chapter 33, verse 14. For the most, it's a lot. For the most high speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth not. Okay, and that's the point I want to get into because the most high he speaks, okay, as you see, um I'm trying to give an example. Okay, let's say that uh you're going on your way to work, all right, and you probably running a little bit too late, and you and you probably speeding and you're, you're riding real fast to hurry and get to work on time. Okay, the reason why I'm using this example is because it happened to me uh earlier this morning <laughs> all right uh i woke up a little not too much late but um i got on the road and i was speeding okay onto the road all right to make it to work on time but then a car just happened to get into the left lane to where i was and he just basically kind of slowed me down but i took heed unto that all right because based off what the conversation me and the brother had last night okay and I understood that that was what? That was the spirit, all right? It was actually speaking unto me. That was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, speaking through me. I mean, speaking to me, okay? Based off the words of what the brother was saying uh, that night, last night. And also me perceiving it through the spirit. Okay, maybe this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wanting me to slow down, all right? It could be a cop down further down the road. Or I could be going too fast, or maybe I get a flat, and I can maybe wreck the car. All right, and any 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 little situation could have happened, but I seen that and I perceived it that it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, using all right that car to stop me to slow me down. Okay, but when it says yet man perceiveth not, many people would see that happen and they would just jump to the next lane they would probably get mad blow the horn flick the person off and keep going and going uh the same speed they were going before but the elect the hopeful elect okay they're gonna hear what yahweh bashim yahweh shai is uh 
uh, uh, doing. They're going to see what he's uh, 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 doing. He, they're going to hear what he's speaking. Okay? Especially when it's coming through the mouth of another prophet, of another brother. Okay? Let's jump to the book of Proverbs 3 and verse 5. All right? Because we are not here to um, lean on our own understanding. Okay? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he speaks through men. He speaks through uh, 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 the prophets as well. All right, this is how we're able to get what the pro uh, the prophecies. Okay, this is how we're able to understand the, uh, the doctrine. This is how we're able to uh, to, to understand uh, uh, things or uh, different experiences through other uh, men. Okay, but all these things have always been uh, uh, done into these other men's life to guide them to the way to where they're able to explain certain things unto you. Okay. But this is why we're supposed to always have our trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and not to lean on our own ways. Okay, this is the book of Proverbs three and five. It says, "Trust in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding." Okay, and I'm, it, this is a video, you know, really for me. All right, for me not to lean on my own understanding. Okay, and this is a, you know video for any other brother that's out there that may happen to go through uh, certain things and maybe not taking heed unto the spirit, not taking heed unto what the Lord uh, is saying. Okay? But it says, lean not unto thine own understanding. Okay? We can't lean on our own understanding, especially in this truth. Especially as uh, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, has um, other men, all right, set up over us, all right, to, to help guide us, all right, on the right path. All right, just as they have been walking on the same uh, right path. Okay, so we don't lean on our own understanding. Okay, we lean on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We trust Him with all our heart. Okay, all our minds. Okay, because we know that it's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that is guiding us. Okay, what does the book say in um, Proverbs? I believe it's tw Proverbs twenty and twenty-four. Uh, man's goings is of the Lord. How can a man know his own way? All right, just roughly paraphrasing, showing you that way. It's Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai guiding every way of the uh, uh, of that man of the hopeful elect. Okay, man. All right, that is uh, walking. All right, that straight and narrow path. Okay, the ways are set before the man. All right, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is guiding his steps. Verse six. It says, "In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths." Okay, that's you what? Taking heed unto the spirit. Okay, hearing and listening. Okay, so that you're able to walk in the spirit. Okay. This is why we read earlier in what? John chapter 10 and 27. How it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow after me. It's only going to be the elect that's going to follow after Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. These are only going to be the ones that's going to have the right, uh, direct uh, paths, all right, to righteousness, because they're going to be following after the Lamb. Okay. Whereas you see the people of this world, they're not taking heed unto the Spirit. You see them. This is why so much judgment is happening to them. Okay. You see that their lives is just, it's just, uh, uh, it's, it's not the way that they want it. You see, they're miserable. All right, but they have to have this sense of uh, folly and, and uh, entertainment, okay, to make it here in, in Babylon the Great. Okay, but the Lord is showing you that what? Once you follow after Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, you're going to be walking in the right paths. Okay, and He's going to guide you the right way. Whereas you're not going to fall and get slipped up into different evils, okay, such as these other people that's out here in the world. Proverbs 3 and 7, it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. See, this is the people of the world. They're wise in their own eyes. They think they know everything. Okay? They don't have no sense of fear of the Lord. Okay? You you, you just see them in their, their everyday life. They just, they think that they, uh, uh, they, they have it all together. But the Lord is showing us, all right, showing us the hope for the elect. Okay, that these people don't got it. All right, because they're not taking heed unto the spirit. 
Okay, and we're going to see where it's going to uh, have these people end up in these last days. Where there ain't going to be no more water. Where there ain't going to be no more food. Okay? When it's going to be mass judgment. All right? All around. All right? When that karagma is being presented. Okay? It's only going to be the elect that's going to be going in the right path. All right? Because these are going to be the ones that have taken heed unto the spirit. These are going to be the ones that hear the voice of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So going back in Proverbs 3 and 7, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Okay. This is how we're going to depart from evil by us walking in the spirit, by taking heed unto the spirit, listening to what the spirit is telling us. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and jump here and we can close out. It's the book of Sirach. No, nah, this is the book of 2nd Ezra. No, this is the book of uh, Sirach chapter 2, Salakia. And uh, mm, we can start at verse 6 and we can close out in verse 9. It says, uh, Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go not aside. See, we're supposed to wait. Okay, wait on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And not go aside. All right, lest ye fall. And the only way you're going to fall is when you're not taking heed unto the Spirit, when you're not listening to what the Spirit is telling you. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. So we got to believe on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that he's going to guide us in the right way, the right path. He's going to have certain men around us, okay, to guide us, okay, in the right path, all right, by uh, uh, the conversations we may have, all right. Uh, verse 9, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy, okay, and it's going to be the elect, okay, that's going to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. These are going to be the ones that's going to hope for good and for the everlasting joy and mercy that is going to come their way. But the only way they're going to be able to obtain that, that mercy and that everlasting joy and having that hope for good and believing on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and fearing him is by them taking heed unto the spirit. Them, uh, <clears throat> Salah, and them, all right, hearing the voice of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so uh, that basically concludes the lesson, but that just, you know, kind of want to bring this lesson out. You know, going into taking heed unto the spirit, all right? But it's only going to be the elect that's going to take heed unto it, okay? As we see the rest of the other world, how they're crumbling, okay? And they're going to be caught, uh, uh, falling into different diverse temptations, all right, and different evils, all right? Because they did not perceive to hear uh, uh, the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful you let. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow Sir Malakaya. Shalom.